the DICES medical imaging system presents to us a much greater and uh, accurate evaluation of the cervix uh, and the presence of uh, HPV related disease. Uh, years and years uh, have been, uh, colposcopy has been uh, utilized for this, but only using the naked eye. And, and that's the issue. The issue is that that's not good enough. A case in point is a young 24 year old uh, female who has never had a child presented with uh, a pasture that just said atypical cells of undetermined significance but positive for a high risk virus. Um, the routine at that point is to offer colposcopy, and, which was done and uh, she was also uh, offered the DICES colposcopy evaluation. The um, colposcopy by my eye uh, was, uh, showed some high grade changes, and, but DICES said, okay, there's a spot over here I want you to be careful with and uh, by its coloring uh, that it does in greens and reds and yellows. Uh, and when we biopsied this, surprisingly enough, my biopsy was a high-grade lesion, but her biopsy uh, came back adenocarcinoma in situ uh, of the cervix. For, and for a young woman of age 24, this is highly significant um, and re required uh, advanced uh, treatments uh, and she is now free of disease. But had the DICES not been utilized in this patient, uh, I worry that we may have missed this. DICES will probably become the standard of care, primarily because of its increased sensitivity uh, to uh, abnormal findings. It does offer us the chance to more completely evaluate things to make sure that they we're not missing something that the cytologist may, has, may have missed. Um, oftentimes, sometimes the skill of the uh, practitioner in taking a pap smear is in question. So it really does help us uh, to uh, more thoroughly, completely, and to the highest degree of technology offer the patient the best uh, care possible.